Hello everyone. Today we will discuss pointers. Pointers is also necessary for understanding data structures and you know writing the code of data structures further. Because we as we go to linked list entries, we'll come across this concept of pointer in terms of if you are coding with C and C plus plus very often. And uh, this uh, course of DS Algo we have done using uh, C language only. So you will come across pointers quite often. So make sure you understand it very well. So let's try to understand what a pointer is. So uh, before we uh, jump into the definition of pointer, let's say we have a variable int a. So any variable that we have in our program consumes some amount of memory. The, the amount of memory depends upon the size of the, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, size of the data type or whatever data type it is. So in case it is integer, it will have four bytes or 2 bytes or 8 bytes depending upon the uh, memory size. In case it is character, it will be 1 byte. Say we have char b. So everything that we, every variable that we have in our code consumes some amount of memory. So uh, let's see how uh, it is represented in memory. For that matter first, let's try to understand how addresses are present in memory. So like memory, you can imagine them as a box. So let's say each byte that we have in a memory has that has a particular address. So this, say let's say this is one byte. So it will have a uh, so it will have an address zero. So the next byte might have address one, two, three, and it it continues till two to the power n minus one, where n is the size of the memory. Or let's say if it's a sixteen bit operating system, it will be two to the power sixteen minus one. So every byte has a particular memory sorry address so let's say we try to put this integer a in this memory so what happens is since this is a four byte so since integer consumes four byte or the storage allocated to integer is four bytes so it will take these four bytes in the memory and in case we are putting a character it will take just this particular byte in the memory so this is how variables are stored in the memory. So now let's say uh, we have in integer a and it is stored over these four bytes. And we, I want to know that what is the address, like there must be some address uh, where the a is getting stored. So what happens is you can know about the address of a using ampersand a. Ampersand a gives you base address of variable a. When I say base address, then it gives you address of this first byte okay so if you try to print and uh, do this this actually gives you the address of a so it could be anything it could be thousand or five thousand thousand four anything now this is how we can print the address of a now let's suppose i want to store this address in some variable so the variable that stores the address is called pointer. And how do we declare a pointer? We declare a pointer using star asterisk. So this is an integer to sorry, uh, this is a pointer to an integer. So what does the data type of integer signifies? It signifies that it is storing address of an integer variable. We will discuss further why this data type is really important. So similarly when we say char b, this means that b is a pointer that stores address of a character variable. Okay. Now, say we have uh, a here and b here and we want to store their addresses so if i do int let's say ip an integer pointer is equal to and of a so the address of a will get stored in integer pointer let's say we have uh, sorry we have char c and b so the address of b character b is stored in character pointer cp so this is what uh, pointer is all about 
Now let's say we have stored the address of A in integer pointer, B in this CP, IP in CP. And I want to access the value of B using this pointer. Okay, so how do we do this? We do this using again this operator, this symbol. What is this? This is a dereferencing symbol. Let's just quickly revise these stuffs. So, first of all, we get address of any variable using ampersand and name of the variable. Next, we declare a pointer variable using star. So, this p is a pointer to an integer, which means it stores address of a integer variable. Next, we can simply uh, store address to a pointer using this assignment thing. Now, as I we discussed a bit that if you want to access the value that is stored in this pointer, we can access it using star p. So, again, this star is also used to declare the pointer. Also, this star is used to access the variable. So, if we suppose we want to do, if we do this print f a equals star p and let's say we have a is equal to 5. So, this particular thing will print 5. If we print and a equals a sorry p then this will print address of p because this p is equivalent to and of a. So, try to understand that star p is the way of um, accessing the value that is stored in that particular address. So, star p is the value, is the star p is the way of accessing value that is stored in that particular address. So, let's see what happens is, so we have a which has uh, address 1004. So, we have this address and uh, base address 1004. And we have a stored here and we have p somewhere in the memory. Obviously, p will also occupy some memory and p will have 1004 as its value. So, when we do star p, then it accesses the value that is stored at address 1004, which is a. And one thing to note here is that if you do size of, size of is a function to get the size of a particular. Uh, whatever parameter we pass to this function. So, if we try to print size of p, it always comes to be uh, whatever uh, it always comes to be 4 bytes or 2 bytes. So, whatever is the size of integer in that particular uh, operating system. Reason being address is an integer. So, p is storing an address and address is an integer. So, this will be equivalent to size of p will be equivalent to size of integer is a pointer here. So, even if it is a pointer to a character, the size of p will remain as that of an integer.